Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Monday the 28th of December 2020. How are you doing? It's kind of holiday season and it's that weird time, isn't it, between Christmas and New Year and all of that stuff. Let me know in the comments section <coughs> how it's treating you. A sip of my Earl Grey tea. Oh, smashing. Okay, 1,144 random interesting and fun facts that you need to know between Christmas and New Year when you're watching really bad telly <laughs> and eating too much cake. Okay, what do we need to know? Oh, marshmallows exist because of sore throats. For centuries, juice from the marshmallow plant that has been used for pain relief. I bet loads of you already know that. This is probably news to me and entirely not news to you. In the 1800s, it was mixed with egg whites and sugar for children with sore throats. And the recipe was so tasty, people turned it into a treat called marshmallows. I'm actually not a fan of a marshmallow. I've tried tasting them on the fire and stuff and they just taste like Bernie gunk, but I can see how people would like them. Gorillas are known to sleep 12 to 14 hours a day. What a fantastic life. Um, 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 um. Depending on the species of shark, they can either give birth to live young or lay eggs. Yeah. A man in Wisconsin took a photo containing three albino deer in the woods. Wow, the chances of this happening is one in 79 billion. How do mathematicians work this out? That's what I want to know. And an elephant, love elephants, drink 34 gallons, 130 litres of water a day. Crumbs. Check out your January 2021 readings. They're in the description box. I know, January 2021. We limp into New Year, battle scarred, weary with our roots showing. <laughs> Oh God, with a cupboard full of toilet rolls, we limp into 2021. I know. Aloft, I hold my toilet roll, my hand gel. <laughs> oh God. Righty ho. Interesting reading. I am using the Cosmic Tarot or the Tarot of Chica Chica. I feel like, and I don't know if we've been saying this for the past few days really, yeah, I feel like, and this happens to us at the end of the year, even if you're not, you know, a New Year's resolution person, and I have to say, I gave up being a New Year's resolution person many New Year's ago, um, because I'm just not very good at, well, I wouldn't say I'm not very good at sticking to things, because I am, but... I'm not very good at scheduling what I'm going to stick to. It doesn't really work for me. And I feel like we're going to be in two minds about that. What's under there? Okay, I'm sure it is. Right. I'm kind of doing reversals, but I'm sort of thinking of them as sideways. So let's say we're doing tilts. Okay, we're doing tilted cards rather than a full reversal. Okay, bit of a seesaw. It's a bit like this, like that. Okay, itchy nose. The world in reverse. We've had this time and time again. We've had the world mostly in the upright. This is kind of coming to the end of a cycle. It's the last card of the major arcana. And when it's in the reverse and the way things are and the feeling I'm getting from this reading is like we're doing our year in review and <laughs> it might be coming up a bit short, okay? For lots of different reasons some which can lead to something more positive in the future and some which are just a human reflection. You know, we're humans. Um, we measure our time in weeks, days and months, even if we try not to, and I do my very best not to. And we come to the end of a year and whether we like it or not, and even if it's not deliberate and it isn't on my part, we're kind of doing a bit of a reckoner of the year. How far have I come? Where am I at? You know? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This card has come up a lot. So just imagine it's on a tilt, okay? And it's, the Eight of Pentacles is what you do for a living, what you show up for. 
And this can be a job, it can be something you do all day, whether you get paid for it or not. Think of it in terms of Sun in Virgo, service. How am I of service to others, to myself, to money, to energy, to the universe, the world? How am I of service? This might be up for review. We've all had probably too much time on our hands to think, which is probably a good thing and also a tricky thing at the same time, okay? Two queens in the reading, which for me usually spells some some kind of conflict or competition, often from outside, but I think maybe internal. Oh, there's some amazing headgear in this particular tarot. And since lockdown, we've been considering headgear. We've been considering our tiaras and our beanie hats and top hats, scarves, any kind of head flare. Look at that. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, I'm trying to think who she looks like because my theory about this tarot is that they all sort of look like um, a character from the 80s. Alexis of Dynasty. Yes, Joan Collins, Alexis of Dynasty. Oh my God, I used to watch that. And I learned when I was about nine or 10 to play the theme song on my trumpet, Lucky Parents. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands in the upright and we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. A more subtle, but nevertheless, fabulous tiara. Can we tune in on that tiara? No, well, as much as we can. It's subtle and it has a yin and a yang. Queen of Cups is like, for me, it's a bit like a high priestess in trainee in training. She's the um, the assistant, yeah, she's the, the high priestess is her mentor. Queen of Wands gets things done and she starts making demands. She's a bit diva-like, but in a good way. It's like, I want this, I'm worth it. Let's be having you. And then the Queen of Cups has this whole, but I sense this might be not right for me or it could not be right for you. That's in reverse. I feel there's a conflict between moving forward with the fire energy and a sense of how things should be, I don't want to do open inverted commas with my fingers, how things should be right, okay? So, I'm gonna recap a little bit. We have the world. This is our year in review, whether we like it or not, the Eight of Pentacles. What do we bring? How are we of service to others and ourselves? I have a feeling that will change for different reasons, okay? Three of Swords, one of now, Voodoo Granny, from uh, Tarot of the 78 Doors, I think. And what we could do as well, let me know in the comments section if you like this. Um, we could have a little voting system where I'll get the Three of Swords out from different tarot packs and we can like vote the most gruesome Three of Swords, etc., or the best hermit. Let me know if you wanna geek on down with me, okay? I, I could easily make that video. Three of Swords, very grim, very sombre. There is again, and we talk about this, there's a dialectic. There is like a ribbon of this happening that counters it, it makes a new thing. Then this counters that, this happens, it makes a new thing. And you, a bit like a wound going up to heel to the top of the skin, it, the Three of Swords, although it's grim, it is a working through of events. That's my work, my working through of events, which always turns into the Wayne's world. Dilly -doo, dilly -doo. Working through of events, okay? Again, working through because we're sort of involuntarily doing this year in review. I like it. I think it's working things out, but I think also th some things will fall short and some things will be better than we thought. And here is definitely Johnny Depp as... Is he the, I think he's the Knight of Cups. It's the Prince. So I think that the Princess is the page and the, this is the Knight of Cups. Look at that, Johnny Depp as the Knight of Cups. Okay, this card has been sneaking its way into our readings for a while. It's unexpected good things. I like it, it's a gift, okay? But I reckon because it's Cups as well, it's often a hidden gift. And the Four of Wands. Irene Cara flash dance. Was it Irene Cara? She sang, I think, the flash dance. 
I'm thinking, we're doing 80s films, I'm thinking Flashdance. Yes. I'm gonna weld some steel <laughs> in a leotard. Four of Wands is a gateway to the future. And I think that our year in review is gonna go on for some time. It's like a work in progress. It's a dialectic, we're working 2020 out. And I, I wanted to say when I was just like washing my hair or something before this video, wow, you know, 2020 was the Anna Cerebralis. It was, um, you know, it's easy to look back on it and think what happened, but we don't know, do we? You know, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know what 21's gonna bring, but also, I just don't know if it's like that whole Eckhart Tolle thing about um, our understanding of a situation rarely contributes to it. I don't think we can contribute to 2021 by trying to understand it at the moment. Maybe at a later date and in a very process driven way, it will make sense to us instinctively or spiritually, okay? Logically, probably not. Uh, wisdom of the Hidden Realms, the truth be told. Yes, it will, I think. But not in a kind of straightforward way that we expect it. Ain't no swords apart from the Three of Swords in this reading, okay? Um, if you had like the Knight of Swords galloping across, it would be like a streak of truth cutting through. We don't really have that. Okay, playfulness is the oracle card. Healing with the angels oracle card. Again, this is about playing with the energies. This is about not losing our sense of playfulness in a year that probably has been more challenging than not, okay? I quite like that reading. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. Do check out, a, uh, I can't even speak today. Check out your star sign reading. It's in the description box. Hit the like button. I'm going to go and lie down and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Namaste.